The Shadow Pokemon you can get from Grunts has officially changed in Pokemon Go. Today we're going through the top Shadow Pokemon you should be hunting right now, as this Grunt lineup will only last three months. Let's get right into it. So as we are going through this, I'm going to flash on screen the different Grunts and the Pokemon they can have. Note that if you see a Pokeball beside the Pokemon, that means it's encounterable from that type of Grunt. We're gonna start though right into the Bug Grunt, which says, go my super bug Pokemon, it's gonna be a male Grunt. From that, you can get either a Shuckle, a Skorupi, or a Joltik. In terms of the meta relevant ones, we're gonna have Skorupi in there, with Shadow Drapion is good in the Great League and the Ultra League, as well as Shadow Joltik in there, which evolves into Shadow Galvantula. Again, good in the Great League and the Ultra League. This is actually one of those new shadows you're definitely gonna wanna get on your roster. That moves us on into the Rock Grunt, which says, let's rock and roll, and it's always gonna be a male Grunt. It can get you either a Shadow Lilip, Shadow Onyx, or Shadow Anorith. We'll have Shadow Lilip, which evolves into Shadow Cradilly, which is not bad for some limited Great League and Ultra League metas like the Weather Cup, I believe. And also Shadow Onyx in there, which evolves into Shadow Steelix. Again, not a bad Great League and Ultra League Pokemon. Then we have the Normal Grunt, which says normal does not mean weak, and it's gonna be a male Grunt. This can get you either a Pidove, a Whismur, or a Patrat now. None of those are really meta relevant, but there is a reason you wanna do this Grunt, and we'll cover it at the end. We'll then move on into the Ice type Grunt, which it says you're gonna be frozen in your tracks, and it'll always be a female Grunt. This can get you either a Shadow Swinub, Shadow Lolan Sandshrew, or Shadow Lolan Vulpix. Obviously, Shadow Swinub, one of the biggest ones you're gonna wanna hunt right now, because Shadow Mamo Swine is the number one ground type rate attacker in the game, as well as the number one ice type rate attacker in the game. It also does have some decent play in the Master League. Shadow Alolan Sandshrew is good because Shadow Alolan Sandslash is good in some limited Great League metas like the Kanto Cup. Finally, Shadow Alolan Vulpix into Shadow Alolan Ninetales, an amazing Pokemon for the Great League and the Ultra League, and the Shadow form has only made it better. However, do note, these ones are pretty rare. I went out and hunt some Ice type Grunts and I could not find a single Shadow Alolan Vulpix. That moves us on into the Dark Grunt, which says wherever there is light, there is also Shadow. This can get you a Shadow Alolan Rattata, Shadow Murkrow, or Shadow Purloin. Shadow Lolan Rattata into Shadow Lolan Raticate is not a bad Pokemon for the Kanto Cup and other limited Great League metas. Shadow Murkrow into Shadow Honchkrow is going to be a great Dark type Raid attacker as well as a good Flying type Raid attacker. Finally, Shadow Purloin into Shadow Lipard is not bad in the Will Power Cup and other Great League limited metas using that charm damage. That moves us to the Flying Grunt, which is Battle My Flying type Pokemon. This can get you a Shadow Natu, a Shadow Ducklet, or a Shadow Zubat. The ones you want to look at is going to be Shadow Ducklet, which is not bad for the Little Cup if that ever returns, as well as Shadow Zubat. Zubat evolving into Shadow Golbat, not the Crobat, which is not a bad Great League Pokemon, specifically for some limited Great League metas. And then also the Shadow Crobat is not bad for the Ultra League and some limited Ultra League metas. However, a little bit outclassed now since Wing Attack did get buffed and it doesn't have access to that. We have the Grass Grunt, which says don't tangle with us. In there, there is going to be Shadow Oddish, Shadow Cacne, and Shadow Chikorita available. Shadow Oddish into Shadow Vileplume. Shadow Vileplume is not bad for some limited Great League metas. I believe it was decent for the Weather Cup, but there was, I don't know if it was that cup, but there was a cup it was good in. Also, Shadow Chikorita into Shadow Meganium. Shadow Meganium is a good Great League and a good Ultra League Pokemon. Also, Shadow Chikorita itself is also not bad for the Little Cup. That moves us on into the Ground Grunt, which says you'll be defeated into the ground. It's always going to be a male Grunt. This can get you a Shadow Lolan Diglett, a Shadow Geodude, or a Shadow Hippotas. Really, none of these are great to go after. This is probably a Grunt you can avoid. That moves us on into the new Steel type Grunt. We've never had this Grunt before, but it says you're no match for my Iron Will, and it's always going to be a male Grunt. This can get you either a Shadow Alolan Sandshrew, a Shadow Aeron, or a Shadow Alolan Diglett. Obviously, we talked about the Shadow Alolan Sandslash being great for limited metas, so that's really the only one you're gonna go after for this new Steel Grunt. I also heard of some people saying you can catch Shadow Matang from this Grunt. Personally, I have not seen anyone do it or have any proof, but if that is true, Shadow Metagross, of course, is the best Steel type Ray attacker in the game. Obviously, it's available from Sierra right now, but if you can get a Shadow Matang from a Steel type Grunt, let me know in the comment section below. We then have the Fire Grunt, which says, do you know how hot Pokemon Fire Breath can get? It'll always be a female grunt and it can get you a Shadow Vulpix, a Shadow Cyndaquil, or a Shadow Nemel. Shadow Vulpix into Shadow Ninetales. Shadow Ninetales is a good Great League Pokemon and Shadow Vulpix itself is not bad for the Little Cup. And then Shadow Cyndaquil into Shadow Typhlosion. Shadow Typhlosion is going to be a strong fire type raid attacker in the game as well as not a terrible Ultra League Pokemon. It does have very good coverage with that Solar Beam and can do a lot of damage with Shadow Claw. And we on into the Water Grunt. These waters are treacherous and it's going to be the female version of the Water Grunt because there is two versions. This can get you a Shadow Totodile a Shadow Psyduck or a Shadow Whale. The only one here we're looking at is Shadow Totodile evolving into Shadow Feraligator, which is not a bad water type raid attacker, can do a lot of damage, but you're gonna need Hydro Cannon on it. That moves on into the Electric type Grunt, which says get ready to be shocked, and it's always gonna be a female Grunt. This can get you a Shadow Mareep, a Shadow Shinx, or a Shadow Blitzel, one of the new Shadows. Shadow Mareep here into Shadow Ampharos. Shadow Ampharos is not a bad Ultra League Pokemon, especially now that has Brutal Swing. It can handle a lot of those ghost types. We also have Shadow Shinx, which evolves all the way into Shadow Luxray. Shadow Luxray is 
is a good electric type rate attacker and also has some play in the electric type cup, but you need hidden power ground on it. So you're gonna have to hunt for that. Now we have the fighting grunt, which says the buff physique isn't just for show and, and it's always gonna be a female grunt. It can get you a shadow makuhita, a shadow hitmonlee, or a shadow hitmonchan. Shadow makuhita in there evolves into shadow Hariyama, which is not a bad fighting type rate attacker. So shadow hitmonchan in there, which does have some play in some limited great league metas can be a very fun spice pick to run. Unfortunately though, we do not have shadow machop available anymore. We then have the psychic grunt, which says, are you scared of the psychics that use unseen powers? This is always going to be a male grunt. It can get you a shadow Natu, a shadow Abra, or a shadow Spoink, one of the new shadows. The only one we want to look at here is going to be shadow Abra, which evolves into shadow Alakazam. And shadow Alakazam is not a bad psychic type raid attacker, has a very high DPS, obviously can't compete with Mewtwo, but it's a lot more available. We then have the ghost grunt, which says ki 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 ki, and this is always going to be a male grunt. This can get you a shadow Golit or a shadow Duskull. Shadow Golit into shadow Golurk. Shadow Golurk is not a bad ground type raid attacker, has very high DPS, as well as not being bad for some limited Great League metas. I believe it was pretty good in the Willpower Cup. We also have Shadow Duskull in there, which can evolve into Shadow Dusclops, which is not bad for some limited Great League metas. And you can even purify this one and run Dusclops with Return on it and have some success that way. We then have the Poison Grunt, which is coiled and ready to strike. It will always be a female grunt. It can get you a Shadow Zubat or a Shadow Fungus. We already, of course, covered the meta relevance of Shadow Zubat and Shadow Fungus has none. This is kind of a grunt that you, it's not the greatest to go after. We then have the Fairy Grunt, which says, check out my cute Pokemon. It's always gonna be a female grunt and get you a Shadow Snubble or a Shadow Ralts. Shadow Snubble into Shadow Shadow Granbull is going to be a good fairy type raid attacker in the game, as well as not bad for the Great League and the Ultra League with that super heavy damage charm. Also, Shadow Ralts in there, which falls into Shadow Gardevoir. Shadow Gardevoir is the number one fairy type raid attacker in the game, so definitely worth doing this grunt. And you can even evolve your Shadow Ralts into Shadow Galades, in which Shadow Galade has some play in some limited Great League metas, like the Willpower Cup we talked about, as well as not bad in the Ultra League. Now we have that second version of the water grunt I talked about. The These waters are treacherous, the Magikarp grunt, they call it, and it's always going to be the male grunt. So we'll only get you a Shadow Magikarp, and Shadow Magikarp into Shadow Gyarados is a great Ultra League Pokemon, a great Master League Pokemon, as well as a good water type raid attacker. So a very good grunt to go after. We then have the Dragon Grunt, which says Roar. How does that sound? This will always get you a Shadow Dratini. This is one of the best grunts to go after because Shadow Dragonite is good in the Great League, good in the Ultra League, good in the Master League, and good as a Dragon type raid attacker. This is an amazing grunt to go after. Literally the second best Dragon type raid attacker in the game. So if you see this grunt, definitely do it. And that leads us on to the final grunt, which is going to be the Don't don't bother, I've already won. Get ready to be defeated or winning is for winners. They call it the typeless grunt. I call it the elite grunt. It will always be a female and it will get you a shadow Snorlax every single time. But be wary, this grunt is actually very tough to take down. Shadow Snorlax though is a good master league Pokemon and even good in the ultra league. So definitely this grunt is worth going after because this is the only way to get shadow Snorlax. Finally, I will talk about the decoy grunts from Giovanni. If you don't know if you have a super rocket radar equipped at Pokestops, you can find these decoy grunts of Giovanni. It's like fake Giovannis. And right now they can get you either either a Shadow Bellsprout, a Shadow Raticate, or a Shadow Weeping Bell. The one we want to look at here is going to be the Shadow Bellsprout, which evolves all the way into Shadow Victory Bell, which is good in the Great League, especially right now with Grass Hole, which if you don't know is Bastiodon Double Grass. It's a pretty good Great League team. Now, before we finish this video, I do want to mention there are some Pokemon that you actually want to hunt, not just because of their meta relevancy, specifically Pokemon that cost a thousand stars to purify. If you're working on your level 45 task, I believe it is, where you have to purify hundred Pokemon, or you just want to increase your purifier metal, you want to do the following grunt to get the following Pokemon because they only cost a thousand stars to purify. Shadow Alola Rattata from the Dark Grunt, Zubat from the Flying and the Poison Grunt, Geodude from the Ground Grunt, Magikarp from the Male Water Grunt, Whismur from the Normal Grunt, Aeron from the Steel Grunt, Spoink from the Psychic Grunt, Whalmer from the Female Water Grunt, Hat Rat from the Normal Grunt, Perloin from the Dark Grunt, and Pidov from the Normal Grunt. Yeah, some of these grunts are still worth doing like the normal one because even if there is no meta relevant Pokemon, you can still get those Pokemon that are 1,000 stars to purify. Finally, the last thing I will say is there are some Pokemon that you want to hunt here because you can purify them to use in the mega form. If you don't know when you purify a Pokemon, all of their stats will go up two points and they will instantly be brought to level 25. There are some shadow Pokemon in here that are just not good as a 100% IV or a 98 or a high IV, but they might be worth purifying. Although I wouldn't really purify the Hundos because shadow Hundos are just so rare. So no matter what, I would probably just keep it shadow. You can go ahead and purify high IV shadow Onyxes for mega Steelix, shadow Aerons for mega Agron, shadow Nummels for the future mega camera, and shadow Mareeps for shadow Ampharos. There's 
There's also the options to purify Shadow Abra for Mega Alakazam, Shadow Ralt for Mega Gallade or Mega Gardevoir, and Shadow Magikarp Mega Gyarados. However, those last three, I don't really recommend them because they are actually very useful in their high IV forms of Shadow. So if you have like a 98 Shadow Ralt or Shadow Abra or Shadow Magikarp, you can use them instead of purifying them and just catch a regular form to use as the Megas. But that's pretty much it, guys. Those are all the Shadow lineups. Honestly, a little bit disappointed myself. There's really not much great in here. We lost Shadow Mudkip. We lost Shadow Machop. And really the best thing to go after right now is like the Ice Grunt and I guess the Fairy Grunt. Also check out the Silk Road website below. That's the website we use to find all this information. They are an amazing group of researchers who help us figure out all this new stuff, but it is still worth hunting because there is still a couple good shadows. Remember as well, you can remove frustration all the way until February 5th at midnight, I believe. So if you hunt the next three days and you get some good IVs, remember to move frustration so you can instantly start using these shadow Pokemon and don't have to wait until the next Team Go Rocket event. That's it for me though, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Fall for tips, everybody. Peace.